Scorpio, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is a message for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. It's an energy reading, so you call it into you at exactly the right time. Therefore, it is a timeless tarot message, but it is for the week ahead as it casts out for the week ahead of whenever you see it. Scorpio, your message begins here with trust in the magic. And of course, you can see from White Raven, this energy of newness, freshness, a new beginning. Trust in the magic of something that seems impossible but isn't. We also have the number 66, which implies divine connection. It's uh, Venus plus Venus, this energy of love this energy of a love connection or a romantic connection this energy of desire so it can very well be a new romantic situation coming into your life it doesn't have to be with like lovey-dovey romance is after all just an idyllic period of time where we see ideals not necessarily just uh somebody and a person and a person getting together and falling in love but an ideal situation falling in love with a situation so there is something here that is quite harmonious that is happening trust in the magic is asking you straight from the beginning to trust this energy, but we've got to get deeper into it and learn more about it. So let's go. Scorpio, remember that I do a new Scorpio message every single week. So please be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can ring that notification bell and select all notifications so that you don't only get notified when I upload your favorite content, but that you also get uh, uh, notified when I go live. And then you can get tarot card readings from me right on right online live. And then um, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to focus Scorpio, you'll get notifications from my community page so that you know what's going on on the channel all good things. So remember to uh, ring that notification bell and select all notifications. Whatever comes out, guys, I'm just going to leave. It's going to be, it's part of the reading. So I'll leave it where it lie. And then we're almost there, Scorpio. Okay. Something coming out in the future. Let's cleanse the energy. Scorpio. Okay. There's a challenge here to a confidence level, or it's the universe's way of saying it's not for you to make the move. Trust in the magic is allow this freshness. Enjoy being yourself and expressing yourself as you are. This is saying no need for aggression. So we already have trust in the magic. But then what came out first is be fearless and bold. This is Aries energy, but it's in reverse. So it's either like a sense of like, usually it's lower self-esteem or a lack, a lack of confidence, which it can be. But I think that in this scenario, especially with this energy, sing your own song, it's more like, I don't have to be in your face about anything. 
And that's it because it because Scorpio wouldn't be the good, it wouldn't be the right way to go about it. It's almost like I'm just gonna be myself and not worry whether or not I'm getting attention for it, or you're paying attention to it, or I'm defining who I am. No, it's more, I'm just going to be who I am. Think of less of the fire energy and more of the air energy. Fire is always future. What am I going to get out of this? Where am I going? Air is more, I'm here. I'm present. This is where I am now. And, and that's what the universe is right now, at least in these first few cards, calling you to get into the modality of. Get into the modality of just being in yourself, being being in your in this present moment, being in the here and now, and being happy being yourself. We have this beautiful energy of 12, 1 plus 2 is 3, harmony. Harmony with who you are. And just kind of being it out loud. There's an energy of you don't have to try very hard to get noticed right now, Scorpio. It's just a magnetism. And trying too hard certainly would be overkill. So don't try too hard. Trust in your magic. Trust in the magic of the moment and the magic of you. Trust in the situation as difficult as may be. This sense of and allow yourself to be free with who you are. You don't have to try too hard to be seen right now. A rebirth is assured is what comes out next. And that's where we have that five energy of transformative, a sense of your awakening. You're just realizing something or something is just awakening or being realized, you know, coming into coming coming into perception. You're able to perceive something. Now, let's let's get this card first. We have trust in divine detours. Now, Coyote can be pretty wily and pretty tricky. When he's upright, it's usually a sense of, it's almost like that buildup before the roller coaster starts really going crazy. This sense of get to know yourself, get to know who you are. And, and you don't have to try that hard now because there is going to be something in the future that you're going to have to improv with at the very least. A rebirth is assured. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? We have eight of pentacles, so something you've been working very hard on, and ten of swords. Something that you've been working very hard on is about to end or be finished or done. Something that you put a lot of yourself into, so this could be actual work. But Scorpio, there's this sense of this hardship or something was too hard or the constant suffering of it is about to end. You've been working really hard on something and that's about to end. Now, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily a bad thing, but it is a, that it's ending, right? This, there's this sense of maybe freedom and liberation and coming out of a period of, oh, I don't have to work this hard for something. I can be relieved. It's almost like this is going to be difficult for you because it's asking you to let go of a mode of energy that you've been using to sort of survive and to be able to feel successful. Like I've got to do this to get this. And honestly, that is not the case anymore. You've got to be ready for change. And that's why Coyote is here. So this is something that is very new for you. Okay, let's talk about this change a little bit before we get into the seven card spread. The Hermit energy and strength. So this sense of maybe going it alone by yourself or... Just having faith in the long term, there's some sort of new thought process or decision that you're going to be making or new interest that you have with regards to work. And it's going to take strength because there is a change coming up about how you go about things or about the actual work you do. So let's get into the seven card spread. I'm going to choose the seventh day cards so that we can understand how this resolves 
Okay, for Scorpio, please. What's that seventh day? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, you're going to... Okay. Let's get to the first day. Whenever you see this, what, what can Scorpio expect is playing out? There's definitely a change here. In other words, things all of a sudden slow down. They get much slower. And I don't know why, but it does. Because there's some sort of completion of a cycle. Maybe it's completion of a cycle of things, of having to move slow. Or at the beginning, you just feel, I'm done with moving so slow. Okay. And then we have... Okay. I said this in Libra's reading, and you might want to go watch it. This is really the energy not of how do I go into a situation filled with anxiety of how do I handle this situation or if, if this person betrays me or this situation, you know, conks out and it doesn't go anywhere. How do I do... It's not about that. It's knowing that you can deal with anything that's thrown at you so that you don't avoid situations that could be wonderful opportunities still. There's a sense of, there's a sense of believing in yourself so that you don't have to worry about how others treat you. And then we have this, which is usually, yes, deception or subterfuge, which is um, uh, sabotage in some way, something, something that was intentionally done to undermine. This could also be your thoughts starting to betray you themselves. Either way, it is an undermining energy on the second day. And yes, I want to get the third day before I get specific in the second day of what it is. So we have something has changed in the past. Something ended. And Scorpio, this is you in reverse. So this energy of being over with and being done or ready to be finished. An ending that happened that was almost karmic. A finish that happened that was actually luckier than you thought. And yes, with those major arcana on the table, we have got to, oh, we've, we've got to, and this is it's almost like in your worst hour, King, your finest hour, because we have the magician too, figuring out how to work with an ending, a total finish. Okay. Figuring out you didn't need something. Eight of wands. Okay. Please clarify God, the seven of wands. It's, it's almost like somebody gave up on a potential situation or potential, um, like potential. Somebody gave up on potential. We have the Eight of Wands, which is things moving very quickly. It's like somebody decided to move in a different direction very quickly. And, and they decided to go in that di diff different direction. They had a lot of confidence. They decided to go with one thing, but they gave up on a lot of other things. That's interesting. It's like somebody legitimately chose relatively quickly what option out of all the options were what they wanted and then ended something. So what, 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 is, this, what is this death card in reverse? What is the death card in reverse? That doesn't make any sense. What is the death card in reverse? Ten of pentacles, three of cups, so happiness, success, abundance. It's almost like somebody quickly realized what was the best thing that was working for them or what was going to work for them, what was going to be long term. Something that took a long, long time and then bam, rapid fire, suddenly Suddenly it was known or it was decided. Um, I don't like this energy though because I still suspect something from it. Somebody, it's, it's somebody decided something very quickly thinking that they could handle it. Thinking that they could handle the situation and that, oh, it was too good to be true. I've got to jump into this. Okay, what about the fourth day? And they did really, really well. 
after they made that decision. I think people were very proud of them. People were happy for them. People were, um, people were looking toward the future or there was a lot of optimism toward the future, right? After you, after they made the decision of what they knew had a lot of value. Okay. Okay. And then we have two of cups, which is getting together, combining partnership, a good partnership, maybe even marriage, a decision to get together, a decision to make whatever this partnership is into something official, into something that is approved of or treated with respect or dignified. Okay, what about the sixth day? Okay, God help me out. Sixth day, we have Knight of Wands, which is, which is um, acting very quickly, acting, maybe even an engagement happened here. And then all of a sudden, acting very quickly, um, um, deciding to rush in. And then we have the lovers, which is based on an attraction that you couldn't understand or that blindsided you. Or somebody acted very quickly on this fuckboy energy because they were so connected or attracted to somebody else. Either way, this is a decision that was made very, very quickly. It's like, it's like somebody just rushed in. And I got to say, it looked really, really good. But there is this energy of don't trust it. And I'm going to say, I don't trust it. This feels like somebody rushing in really quickly based on desires, based on sexual attraction, based on a lot of things that they didn't have a lot of information on. Simply based on more impulsivity than anything else. And just because initially it works out really well does not mean it is going to end up that way. And I got a feeling. Hold on. We have you and your loved ones are safe. This is in reverse. So it's almost like somebody felt like either they had problems and they were struggling. Um, they were struggling and they were sad about something. And so they rushed into this situation to feel good about anything at all. And then we have it's time to take action. Yeah, for the future. It's like somebody took action for the future just to feel good today in this moment. Because they couldn't feel good by themselves. And so they needed to kind of rush into something else to get their mind off of what they were really trying to avoid. Aquarius energy, bring love into the situation. Let me fall in love. Let me be in love. It will help me take my mind off of whatever this other stress is. Oh my God. And then we're going to get our resolution. Come over with me to the extended because we've got to resolve this. I can tell you right now, there are energies that you need to know about. I'm looking right at them. Let's figure out how God wants us to react. No place like home. So returning home, going home, or bringing somebody home really quickly. And then we have deep knowing and understanding, a feeling of being comfortable right away or feeling very comfortable right away with somebody. This, this energy of have faith in it. God, this is such duality going on. Welcome to Gemini season. What do you mean? So there was a deep knowing or understanding maybe about moving in together or being in somebody's personal space, getting to know somebody's family. A star card, you're dealing with an Aquarius or this is Aquarian energy. Maybe a sense of deep knowing that something was going to work out right. Something was going to be very good for you. A feeling of, I just feel that this is everything that I've wished for. So I'm going to rush right in without a lot of information. Let's get an angel card. Spirit. 
spiritual or religious community. Uh, join with like-minded people for friendship and increased spiritual growth. So a connectivity and then deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences and you are willing to devote time and energy toward therapeutic care. But are you dealing with it in a way that it's actually going to heal you or are you just jumping into something that makes you feel good in this moment? I have energy on the table that I need to share with you. Please come and join me for the extended reading. The link is down below in the description box, Scorpio, or you can, uh, it's, it's, I, I pinned it to the top of the comment section. I'll see you guys there.